It's a shame that you can't love me much as I do. Ooh, it's a shame that you can't love me much as I do. Love you, even though you are. So my first impressions of Lauren. Uh, when I first met her, you know, I thought, wow, this is a really nice girl, she's beautiful, and my immediate impression was that uh, I have no chance with her, um, even as a return missionary, but, you know, something about it just drew me towards her, and I loved being around her, and started hanging out as friends, and, and I found myself, you know, really wanting to be more around her and spend more time with her and I saw somebody that I would love to be with. Our love grew for each other over the years and now I'm so happy and blessed to say that I'll be marrying her in the temple, something that we've been working towards our whole relationship and something that I saw in her from the first time I met her, someone that I could take to the temple. And it's just been a blessing be with her and I can't wait to spend eternity the rest of my life with her. Even though you I never knew who I'd be marrying or being saved to. I really can't wait to be sealed and married to my best friend. It's helped me realize so many things about myself, about the gospel, and especially about the importance of being sealed. I'm grateful for the past that's helped build me here, my parents. Um, setting that high standard and example for me. It's a blessing that I can finally live it with someone that I truly love. I can't wait to be married um, and sealed to my future eternal companion, Xavier.